Hey people, how are you all doing? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's about 2, 10 minutes, 12 minutes past 2 a.m. in the morning. My timetable is totally screwed up, so I'm waking up and sleeping at odd times, and I'm finding myself like, which day is it? That sort of phase going on. <laughs> right, so today we're going to look at one fragrance, a legend on its own, and uh, this is one reason many, many, many companies do summer fresh aquatics. All right, light fragrances. This is Hall of a Famer, as you can see from title. It's gonna be CK1. I have a lot of things to talk about this. I hopefully can keep it short, all right, because I intend to keep it short. I don't want to repeat a lot of things that people said and go into deep details with the presentation. I don't have the box with me, so let me show you quickly. Presentation first, all right. Okay, so I don't have the box, as you know. So this one comes with typical, all right, the screw on. This one not actually uh, like uh, fixed, you can take it out just like you know the other ck1 bottles i'm going to show you shortly it comes like a cap so it's like it sits you can use it as a splash or you can use it as spray so i personally uh, recommend for those who are not familiar with ck house go with the spray it gives you better distribution better application all right so this one will remind you of a few other fragrances all right in my collection i have a few you say as you can see the frosted glass similarity all right also i have dolce gamana light blue so these are kind of like a frosted glass, some, somewhere like from those times, back in the times. So the frosted glass trend was going on. Also, there is Aqua Di Gio, if you know that one, one of another Hall of Famer. So a lot of these frosted glass ones are Hall of Famers, aren't they? <laughs> so this one is particularly 100ml bottle. And I think uh, my, I had this in my collection for more than 12 years or so. I had a 200ml bottle, I finished it almost, left it in Malaysia. I didn't want to bring it forward like to Bangladesh but I started missing it kind of because this is a fragrance you start missing it you just need those you know on those summer days casual days you don't feel like wearing fragrance you know stay indoors and everything casual days you're gonna miss fragrances like this so this one is a must stay that's what I really felt and I'm gonna get a bottle full bottle for this all right so also the bottle sizes come as a 30 ml smaller bottle small splash bottles I'm not quite sure if they have 50 100 uh, 200 ml and 30 ml so bottle size galore, all right? Prices, you can find this very, very, now a lot of discounts on this because it has some age to it. You'll find this absolutely everywhere. I don't know any part of the world don't have CK1, this fragrance, all right? And uh, this fragrance is, uh, I think the starting price would be $15 all the way up to your 30 to $40 from depending on where you're buying it from. I suggest don't buy it from retail. You can buy it from online or any other fragrance shop, which will discount this or clearance Go for the clearance for very good prices all right so there goes the pricing so this one is a uh, classified as a uh, citrus aromatic and the year it was released as i told you 1994 so long time long 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 time many of you are not even born then <laughs> all right and then this one is created by legendary perfume alberto morias also harry fremont all right so i'm not quite sure about harry fremont's work because i have to study further but alberto morias that name is everywhere he is a father of all fresh aquatic summer fragrances but this one is more like a fresh citrus aromatic fragrance all right not totally aquatic all right this one gets uh, compared to often i mean there are similar fragrances like this would be azaros chrome which is very close to this i'll tell you in a bit also paco by paco raban something like that so those two fragrances very close to this fragrance all right so as you guys know like uh, ck1 this particular fragrance is known uh, for its simplicity this is a very simple fragrance the notes breakdown are pineapple green notes mandarin orange papaya bergamot cardamom lemon and then nutmeg violet orris root jasmine lily of the valley rose sandalwood amber musk cedar and oak moss all right let me tell you right first of all most of those notes break down, they are just officially listed. I don't get much of those notes break down, all of them at least from all these years. What I really get smell wise, this one will give you a little bit lemony opening. It's like I have this on my hand right now. For some times, I decided to wear this, you know, since I woke up, I wanted to wear this, all right? So the opening is lemon, fresh, watery. You're gonna get the feel of water, you know, like it's like a very watery. I don't know how they create that. It's just art of perfumery, right? Very watery, very citrus, and those fruity notes. Bergamot or something a bit orange. There's some sort of fruit in this, not 
like doesn't tilt towards any particular citrus fruit heavily all right so yes watery lemony bright and then if you can think of the waves of the ocean by the beach at night you know my advice back in the days this one has that old feel you know like classic feel so doesn't open up very strong starts off very very soft and then slowly it will transit like the transition will be towards the floral white florals so the florals are they say um what else violet uh, jasmine lily of the valley and rose do i get rose yes touch of rose in this seriously but not rosy rose not the burning rose it's just the sweetness of the rose and then maybe lily of the valley yes jasmine yep so mix of few white florals most of it it feels like clean and fresh this fragrance also doesn't have a very strong backbone all right it doesn't have the cedar sandalwood all this orris fruit and like oak moss they say i don't get any of that very nice little musky dry down like many other soft fragrance because this one is built for unisex purpose all right all right this one um, uh the particular there's no particular gender they you know specify for this fragrance since it came out it sold the most number of bottles as you guys know as i mentioned and like guys and girls equally loved this for a very long time even now it's selling in the market it's in the retail so fragrance that lasts that long you have to give it the respect so this is more like a tribute rather than a review this is like paying respect okay why first of all it sold the most number of bottles second of all it's unisex third of all it's the reason why thousands of flankers came out you see every year the ck one summer i think 2009 or 8 they started this line so i have the 2015 or 16 i think 15 one yeah this is 2015 they twist it a little bit every year and add some other notes fruity notes or something come out with the summer there's also ck1 red which is exact same bottle size and design if you can notice just different coloring and stuff but there's also ck1 shock which is a very good fragrance there is a ck1 shock for street edition blah blah this so this particular fragrance gave birth to lots of those flankers all right and if i may say so since uh, I know CK brand, I've been familiar with like I used, I think uh, there's a Crave back then in the days, 90s or something. I used that. That one I liked. CK, one ob CK Obsession is my one of my signature scents. I love that. I love that stuff. As well as my recent days, CK Reveal. So if you're talking about goodies of CK one, like CK line, Calvin Klein line, yep. This one was built for. I think this is made in U states yes has to be states because calvin klein is american you can see if you look if you're worried about stickers or uh, fakes you can try it all right so this one was targeted to the youth both male and female so since the softness of the fragrance you know like when this one came out a lot of this other powerhouse fragrance was going on right if ck wanted to go in that direction they could have gone because they have some sort of that sort of fragrance is heavy eaters but this is not a heavy eater this is very soft as i mentioned it's a little bit uh, fruity citrusy watery and floral that's what this is so both guys and girls can wear this if a guy i'm not gonna say he's a metrosexual guy even a manly man a lot of men wear this okay that's the best thing you can use it as a splash or you can just spray this on and this one doesn't choke people out that's the best thing about this fragrance okay all over the world this is even the cooler countries summer countries people buy this but summer countries this is more appreciated so this was a hit instantly you see all those you know the, the ads of this is classic they have this uh if you know tommy by tommy that was an icon this is another icon all right so for the price people dig this all right and uh, recently i think there's a ck2 or uh, new one like this is ck1 right so the two is coming i think all right uh i'm not quite sure ck1 or this could be also the black bottle but smell a bit different so yes based on the success of this ck milked <laughs> they really truly really made billions i think i would just say that because everywhere every mall you'll find this all right so what is it good for all right first of all any age can wear this no age barrier for this second of all any person can wear it girl guy working man school college if you're looking for sport also if you want to keep it in a locker room you want to looking for your first fragrance official fragrance or a starter fragrance anything any way you say it 
you can buy this in the middle of a very rich collection that you have but you're looking for something citrusy summer based you can buy this this one works fine absolutely fine you can refresh in the middle of the day if you're working in the office what will happen is you don't want to choke people out you want to be understated smell nice pleasant girls put down the scarf they go leave like walk by you in the air conditioning just give you some ideas when they walk by you're gonna get whiff of their fragrance very light floral fresh touch and come out light blue another one the, for women that sort of there's no peppery kick in this there is nothing that you know like <laughs> there's a shocking factor even the ck1 shock i think is not shocking all right so for school if you're in school yeah maybe it doesn't last the whole day of school in bangladesh condition asian condition i think one to two hour stops for ladies will get a little bit longer because ladies are somehow better holders of fragrances than men don't know how that works just just blessed right you need to reapply maybe carry atomizer something like this like uh, this size or something this is uh Ubaid buys uh, tuscan leather <laughs> perfume oil with me by the way just showing you all right i'll review that soon so yeah you might need refreshing and everything but you don't have to think this is a no-brainer all right the performance a little bit weak and everything but the smell this one doesn't have any controversy on this which is why it's very popular all right but the price you pay is very very reasonable you can pick up the smallest of the bottle 30 ml you can carry it in your bag purse not gonna hurt you will smell this in a lot of places the likeliness that people smell like this is much higher than people wearing some more uh, you know lacoste or some other brand like bulgaris people likely gonna be wearing this particular fragrance all right so you will like this on yourself first of all also you can compliment people on this this is the best part of it it smells nice on both sides all right for the winter time you can wear it indoors and everything you feel like wearing this absolutely you can but you don't perform because it's a bit weak it doesn't have the backbone in the dry down of a heavy cedar or you know vetiver just a little bit musk all right so simplistic because simplicity at its best so for all those reasons you know versatility you know any age any profession can wear this even a police officer would be wearing this would be a friendly cop people don't think of he's like a douchebag all right so yeah this one is universally appealing that's the best part of this fragrance so hall of famer first of all let me say that definitely for the price excellent for presentation i don't have the box but i think the frosted glass works simplicity works sometimes you just need like one bottle that will give birth to numerous bottles all right so they don't they're not changing this bottle design at all why because it's working for them this is a winner all right this is already brought them you know bread and butter like seriously put it like that all right i don't know bread and butter i don't know all right so this is one of the best releases ever from the ck house since 1994 and now they're gonna be really they can be absolutely proud of this fragrance if you have to line up this line this one will have a thousand bottle behind it that's why this is legend the numbers of bottles sold also legend all right if you love aqua di gio if you love ludice if you love dolce and gabbana light blue puram if you never smell this you can blind buy this definitely you're not gonna get the pepper or anything strong or challenging in this all right so for performance a little bit weak obviously this is more like edc sort of a fashion like but lasts on some people they say they get like four or five hours in good conditions like you know if your temperatures around 23 24 yeah you can get about that four to five maximum bangladesh condition asian condition you're not gonna get beast mode projection or longevity you're gonna get decent on your shirt it will you know hang on better i say go heavy with this in bangladesh condition go on your neck on your hair on your clothes hands okay inside on your chest so yeah if you go about eight to ten sprays it might last you half day all right but you still have to reapply in the middle of the day all right for sports you can wear this but not to go and play the sports all right like in cricket football rugby it won't last you at all but after you take the shower in the locker room you come and refresh you want to put some cologne on absolutely you put this on or a cortigio one of your favorite fragrances this will be definitely one of them all right for girls i heard from my girl she said she doesn't only just love this on herself because it lasts on her she gets very good performance out of this i don't know how very very special girl she says she likes smelling this on other people but at times the funny thing is it can be a little bit too much on some people because they don't know the application all right they just spray like here 10 sprays in one neck so it might give you the headache inducing effect because of the florals 
which is why Mark hates florals. I can see it. <laughs> and the comparison, I haven't smelled the Pakora one, like Pako, but um, the Azuros Chrome I have, it is very close to that. Let me tell you, Azuros Chrome is a much beast more performer. So if you like this and you want performance, go with Azuros Chrome. That one has that metallic tone, as well as the florals in the dry down, all right? And so much more. That one is more like an aquatic, summer fresh aquatic, also watery, but that one is sweetness is amped up. This one sweetness a little bit down. Very pleasant, very lovable. Compliment getter for sure. Compliments wise, I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10. You're gonna always gonna get compliments. If not mind blowing compliments, you're gonna get good compliments, good notice. No complaints, alright? The versatility may be like seven because in the cooler times you can wear this winter time. No one's gonna notice. Put the lid back, alright? Put it back in your shelf. Wait until the summer comes again, alright? So summer is coming. Yeah, this is her bottle, I know. I'm gonna get one bottle. I'm gonna be using this while, like, every now and then when I feel like wearing nothing heavy, all right? So the season-wise, 7 out of 10. Compliments, 10 out of 10. Longevity, a little bit poor. I'll give 5 out of 10, all right? And projection, doesn't project that much. It's more like a skin scent. Creates, like, aura around you, bubble around you, like, maybe half arm's length. Yeah, so maybe 6, 6 out of 10. But for the smell for the popularity, for what it does, the versatility, the wearability. Anywhere, anyone, any gender can wear this. I'm gonna rate this very, very highly. This is gonna be 10 out of 10 because of the trend it started. I love this fragrance, which is why I had this for more than a decade. I'm still craving for more, all right? So there you go, Hall of Fame. I'm gonna do a second episode. This is gonna be in that, all right? Easily. This one is a must in your collection, all right? So that's my review for CK1. So next, what's coming up next few days, I think I'm going to be, next one definitely, I have to return this to buy Brother Ubai. This is the Tuscan leather, the perfume oil, the, I think the copy, they, they copied the smell and he said it's about 80 to 85 percent, which I can totally understand because he is a perfume expert as well as he has smelled Tuscan leather. So I love this fragrance, guys, oh my God, I have been testing and I, he told me to test ext extensively and don't be stingy which I'm, that's why I'm not doing it. So I'll be reviewing this soon. And some new fragrances are coming, and I have few new fragrances with me, which I'm testing. As you know, Lolita Lambica from oh, the O Masculin, Masculan, and this is my favorite, Azaros Chrome Legend. This is a legend, another legend. I can tell you, I can vouch for this. If you're looking for a fragrance in Bangladesh condition, Asian condition, performer, yeah, I'll go be, I will tell you in detail what this smells like, what it does. Already juice level has gone down a little bit already, see? So yeah, those are coming up. So I hope you guys wait for it. And uh, thank you very much for watching, listening. If you really love my channel, I often get a lot of comments I always cannot get back. Thank you so much, you know, it means a lot. I get inspired to do work. Sometimes even I'm not in the best of the moods, not best of the situation. I come back for those people who just keep writing, keep inspiring not gonna take the names you guys already know because you watch my videos all the time thank you very much for all the support it means a lot all right you guys keeping me yes pumped up all the time take care guys have a very very nice day bye bye